What's up, guys? Steve, back in the gym. Uh, working a little bit overtime this week in the gym, but I'm on vacation, so I get to log a little bit of extra gym time. It was nice. Did some shoulders today. Starting off with overhead press. The squat rack was occupied, so I used the power rack here. Just as good. Again, trying to keep uh, some strict form on overhead press, uh, which you'll see in a minute kind of broke. I did this one at 80 here. Didn't want to go. Uh, so I kipped it up with a bit of a push press. Still didn't want to go, but fought through that and locked it out at the top. The 80 seemed real heavy today. Uh, a lot of a lot of this since I've been uh, sick and not necessarily watching my diet as carefully as I normally do. Uh, a lot of stuff's been feeling really heavy. So I dropped down to uh, 70 and started working my way down. You know, once again, as I've mentioned in other videos, this reverse pyramid training. So the first couple sets of warm-ups, then start with your heaviest set where you still have energy and then work down. So I did some at 60. And again, nice to have a power rack with a bit of height on it so that I can lock out properly at the top of the movement. Set at 50. I believe this was the uh, the last set of overhead presses on the day. And as I'm coming up, notice I'm bringing that right over my shoulders, sticking my head through the window there. Moved over, did some standing one arm dumbbell shoulder presses. I actually wanted to re really wanted to do some uh, some seated dumbbell shoulder presses, but uh, the the benches with the flat backs we're all occupied, so I decided to do these instead. And I'm trying to keep my body line as straight as possible. Of course, uh, you know, it's a heavyweight, so it's, uh, it's difficult to maintain a perfectly straight body line, especially after just finishing some overhead presses. So I dropped the weight down, uh, did another six at 30. You know, and this is great for all those stabilizer muscles in through the side of the body and uh, on the shoulder. Drop the weight down again. And did a set at 26. You know, this is a lot easier way to manage and uh, keeping the body straight. One trick to use if you're, if you're trying to uh, to keep the body symmetrical is uh, you position yourself right in front of a, a crack in the mirror, and then watch that uh, that your body line stays there. You know, obviously, get some heavy weights up over your head. You're gonna break. You're not gonna be absolutely perfect, but uh, I'm gonna try and stay as upright as possible and not throw momentum into it down to about 90 degrees and back up. Now, I've not used this machine before. This is my first time using it. This is the uh, Life Fitness Lateral Raise machine. So I, uh, I started out with uh, 65 by 8. See how that feels. It's pretty good. Not bad. And then did my, uh, my heavy set here at 80. I really want a couple, maybe another inch or so up higher. A couple classes letting out right here so you can see cross traffic right in front of the camera. And try and get that last rep and uh, it's just not uh, gonna go. Now if you're using a dumbbell lateral raise, you're going to involve a lot more of the stabilizer muscles and, uh, and your core um, than you will be uh, with this machine. But since I had already done some uh, barbell and dumbbell presses already, I figured uh, I'd give this a shot for the lateral raises and see if I could get some good weight on it. So this one set of 60, another set at uh, a 60. I think the last one was maybe 12 and a half reps. Range of motion here as I'm getting used to the machine, I'm getting the elbows up a little bit higher, 
so it's uh, looking and feeling a little better. We're getting the right range of motion. And this is the last set. Again at 60. And the mid, uh, the mid delts are giving out at this point. So all of a sudden, 60 kilos is feeling real heavy. Now I wanted to do some seated overhead presses, but uh, the machine was was busy again, so I did some rear delt flies, some cable rear delt flies. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to position the the pulleys. Uh, you know, thankfully, this gym has uh, independently positionable uh, pulleys on the crossover machine. It's a good crossover machine. It's the Life Fitness crossover machine. So I'm starting off with the high position on the pulley, just grabbing right onto the cable, and then from a low position, right below the hips. This is just to work the rear delts at a, at a slightly different angle so each set of these that I did I changed the angle the high and low didn't seem to be too much of a problem when I position them right at shoulder height I found this a lot more difficult so and I also upped the weight at this point so at 20 kilos this was uh, it felt quite heavy I found myself wanting to engage a lot more of uh, the lats and mid back so switched back to the highest pulley position this one a little bit higher than the first set and uh, did a set of 12 at 20 Now the other gym had improperly labeled weights. This one has properly labeled weights. So this is a 63 kilo cable crunch and man, was it heavy. I mean, it was a lot heavier than what I thought was 75 at the old gym, uh, which it was probably closer to 50. Uh, so this was uh, almost lifting me right off, off the ground. And this is, uh, there's no, well the mats were in the other room being used by uh, a stretching class, so I couldn't really have access to them, so I did it right on the uh, the marble floor here. And heavy just pops right up with the weight there. One more angle of the second set. So I did a few sets of uh, weighted ab work. It's a seated crunch machine. Uh, 100 kilos is the heaviest it goes. It's heavy. Uh, it kept lifting me up, lifting my feet up off the ground. So I took the feet back. That helped a little bit more. But yeah, this was uh, it was good. I could really feel it. Uh, but nice, nice, heavy weight. Difficult to, to crunch that down. This is the second set here on the same machine at 100. You know, most of my ab work comes in the form of doing my big lifts, uh, overhead press, standing dumbbell shoulder press, squats, deadlifts. Every once in a while, I'll throw in some weighted ab work. And a cable oblique side crunch. Unfortunately, the big stack on the tricep push down machine, the one I was using for the cable crunch, doesn't have a low pulley. So this is about as heavy as it goes for a low pulley, uh, but certainly is heavier than the dumbbells. So I did a, sweat, a set of 20. Normally I'll, uh, I'll use some wrist wraps for this, but I didn't today uh, as uh, none of the other motions were pull motions, so my grip was still fresh. I figured I'd exercise the grip a little bit, uh, grabbing this uh, the fat bar that they've got on the D-handle. So I was getting a bit of oblique work as well as some grip work. <laughs> 
Finally, this machine came free. <clears throat> this is the last one of the day. So this is the Hammer Strength Isolateral Shoulder Press Machine. And warmed up with a set at 85. And then tried again for this 125. Last time I didn't get any wraps on it. This time I got one rep almost myself there. And uh, the second rep just wasn't gonna go. So I, I let it go, we'll try it again next week. <laughs> To be fair, this was the fourth shoulder exercise, a heavy shoulder exercise that I'd done on the day. So if I uh, start off, if I lead off with this in the future, it might be good, but I, I usually take these range of motion machines only as assistance work. I did this last set here at 85. And that was it for the day. I appreciate you guys uh, watching these videos and uh, your comments, questions below are always appreciated. Uh, you know, why not like the channel and subscribe to the channel and comment below. The workout details are here for you. And until next time, guys, keep growing.